Okay, welcome to Daily 3D Revolt. Today we're going to be doing a Design Spark mechanical tutorial, and I'm going to be showing you how to create a basic uh, jig or fixture for holding a, a, your metal when you want to CNC a part. Okay, we're going to go ahead and go to New, create a new design. We're going to be doing this in inches. Go ahead and go to here. So basically, uh, you need a jig to hold a piece of metal if you're seeing seeing something and it has to hold it tightly so it doesn't move around um, so we're going to go ahead and create a basic jig um, I did a earlier video that has kind of a more in-depth uh, jig or fixture now we're going to create a simpler one so we'll go ahead and go with the rectangle tool we'll define from center <clears throat> we're going to create um, maybe a Let's just go four by two. So this is going to be our piece of metal or fixture, however you want to call it. And then we're going to go, uh, <clears throat> we're going to create another piece in the middle. This is going to be our, our uh, we want to go ahead and define it from center. This is going to be the piece that's going to, the jig's going to hold. So we want to go three by, let's just go three. Tab one, enter. Okay, so this is what we want to do. Now we want to normally uh, with the jig, there's there could be a vise in there that comes from the top here and, and then the bottom, and it holds these pieces together. So what we want to do is go ahead and uh, create that. So we'll go ahead and create put a line from here to here. <clears throat> then we'll create another line from there to there. So these are going to be separate pieces that's going to hold this piece. Now we want to go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and spin this. We'll go to uh, mode. And then we're going to go ahead and um, uh, pull down the control key. And then we're going to pull this stuff up here. This is going to be our, our fixture. We can pull this up uh, point. Let's just go 0.5. So it's a half an inch. Okay, now this is going to be the piece that gets machined. So we're going to go ahead and pull that. Let's go ahead and undo. Before we pull that, let's click on it and let's go to pull. And let's select this no merge over here. So, and then go to move. Now let's move it up. <clears throat> okay, now we have another solid over here. So let's go ahead and name that, rename that. So we'll right mouse click, rename, and we'll call this part uh, part A. Okay, so <clears throat> <clears throat> excuse me. Oh, it looks like it merged. Got to be careful there. Let's do undo a couple times. Get back to here because we don't want this to merge into one piece. So. Go ahead and move this. Okay, so well, let's move this one out of the way by grabbing the green. Okay, so they're, they're not touching. Okay, so this actually undo. Let's undo that. We're okay here with this. Now we're going to go ahead and extrude that. So we'll go give that a little thickness, maybe one inch. Okay, so and then we want to go ahead and um, extrude this stuff, but in order to do that, we need to go to pull, select both of them, and go no merge. Make sure that the no merge is selected, and then we'll pull these down. Uh, let's just go 0.5, I guess. 0.5 would be good. Oh, it's already merged it. Undo a couple times. Go to this one piece. <clears throat> we'll pull these separately. Let's go 0.5. Okay, and then let's move this out of the way a little bit. So we'll grab the green. We're going to move it over 0.05 so they're not touching. Then we're going to go click on the face, go to pull, and type 0.5. Okay. So this would be. An example of a of a fixture. Um, 
So typically fixtures are, you know, they have a bottom to them. So we're going to go ahead and add that. Let's go ahead and spin this around. Select that face there. Go to plan view. Now we're going to control minus. Now we're going to just get our rectangle tool. And we're going to go from the top there. So click. And then we're going to go to the bottom. Select to click off. We'll go ahead and spin this. And then we'll go pull. What did our piece go? Can I just draw a piece there? Undo. Looks like it's there. So we'll have to go go ahead and select these lines. Just hold down control. And then we're going to have to go to fill. So it's a solid. Okay, there we go. Now I'll go pull. Now we'll pull this down. Actually undo that. You got to be careful there because unless you hit the no merge, you're going to have a part that's going to merge. So we'll go ahead and select these by holding down the control key. We'll go to move. We're going to grab the, I believe it's the blue. No, not the blue. Undo. Let's go ahead and fill that. Grab the blue. Huh, it's not wanting to move. Let's go ahead and get this. Click on that face there. Move. Okay, we're good now. Uh, let's see here. We can't really make this solid because it's where well, we could fill that in. All right, we're going to leave it like this. I'm going to pull these pieces up individually. So we'll go Control Plus. So let's go ahead and go to Pull. What I'm going to do is select just these. Let's spin this. Go ahead and hold down Control. And then I'm going to uh, actually, you know what I need to do is. All right, let's spin this around. We're going to need to put a line in here. So let's go from there over to there. Okay. And then we need to put another line in. So we'll get this line tool here. Go from there over to there. Select the click off. Okay, now we're going to spin. Let's go to the 3D mode. Okay, now we're going to pull these up. Just a little bit, maybe 0 0.17. Spin this, and then we're going to pull this one up. Click on there, go 0.17. Okay, so now this has a bottom to it. So we're going to go ahead and spin this. And the nice thing about a fixture or creating a fixture, let's go ahead and pan down, is that this. You can adjust this specifically to hold this piece tight. And, and how you would do that is, let's move this out of the way. So we'll go ahead and go to move. We'll move this up so we can see the fixture a little better. Okay, so this is a specific size. Now what you'd want to do is go ahead and adjust uh, these so you have a little bit more <clears throat> tension on the part. So maybe you make a move like 0. 0. 0.010, so you tighten that. And then you do the same here. You go ahead and pull this 0. 0.010. And then um, so it's going to be, it's going to squeeze the, when you clamp this in the fixture, it's going to, uh, put some pressure here and here. Now, if you wanted to also put pressure on these sides, you would do the same over here. So you type 0.010, move that, and then you would move that one 0, 0.0, whatever your taller, whatever your um, the dimensions call for. <clears throat> if you're making the fixture, um, I'm just kind of throwing some numbers out there. I don't, they may or may not be correct, but this is just. 
0.010. This is just kind of a tutorial to show you how, if you wanted to make a fixture, you'd be able to do so. So we'll go ahead and go to view. We'll view this from the isometric. Okay, so basically, this is going to be your your part that you're machining. These are going. To, this is going to be your fixture parts. And then we'll go ahead and uh, click on this one. Go to move. And what you could do is change the anchor point. You can go ahead and go anchor point down to here. And then you could say move up to, and it's going to go to the bottom there. Okay, so this is going to be your, your part. Let's go ahead and spin this. So this would be your fixture. Part would fit in there. It would go in between a vise, and the vise is going <clears> to <throat> put pressure here. The pressure here, it's going to hold the part. So this would be, if you were seeing, seeing this, let's go ahead and zoom in and then we'll pan up. So basically you'd have your, uh, let's go ahead and draw a circle there to kind of emulate a, uh, a bit. Go ahead and pull that. So this would be your, oops, didn't want to do that. That's gonna have to move that up so it doesn't become part of the uh, the whole thing so if you add your bit this would be say your CNC router bit it would come down and it come down and machine the part you know, more than likely it would do the edges so it kind of come around the part you know, like this, do the edges, and then if it was, if you had some drilling to do, uh, the drill might come in like this, drill a hole there, drill a hole there, and a hole here, and then when you're done, what you would do is take this out of the machine, you'd flip this part over, and if the bottom part needed machining, you'd machine that as well, and if it didn't, you would uh, cut it off. So... That's basically how you would create a fixture, a basic fixture for a CNC machine. I'll go ahead and view that by isometric. Maybe we can move this, this bit here so it looks like it's machining. So yeah, so they, the bit would just come around the corner and the, and the little vise here, it, uh, it would have to hold onto the part really tight so it doesn't wobble or move around. But that's uh, how to create a basic uh, part. Now, I didn't show you how to use the combine tool because I have another video that goes over that. <clears throat> we could have actually uh, drawn this uh, rectangle here as one piece. Then we could have put a, a line from here to here, from midpoint to midpoint. And then we could have uh, extruded that or pulled that line up. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then we could have moved it to the center. And then we could have used combine and we could have just separated the parts. That's another way to do it. Uh, my first video that I put that I created on how to how to use your combined uh, um, part goes over that. But this was just how to create a basic uh, um, fixture, or I think they you can call these a jig. Uh, but basically, this is just how to do that. You know, your part would go in here, vice would clamp it, then you'd start your machine, and your little bit would go do the machining that it needed to do. Okay, that's going to end today's tutorial. Hopefully you enjoyed watching and you got something useful out of this video. Thanks again for watching.